Hi everyone and welcome back to the Andy Summers Telecaster build series and you're probably wondering A why it's been so long since the last video and B why are we in Fusion 360 looking at some strange contraption. Well the first of those uh, answers is that it's uh, been pretty cold this winter and I would say that the last weekend, it's May now, has been the first week where the temperature's been high enough where I could spray nitrocellulose lacquer without uh, problems. So, yeah, poor winter means, you know, no spraying activity. The second is answer is that this is required for the subject of this video, which is essentially revealing the binding and scraping. Now, you can, when you're scraping binding, you can use just a, a normal, you know, standard craft knife blade to scrape away gently the lacquer that's uh, on top of the binding and repair any seepage underneath masking tape if you remember i masked up the side of the binding before i sprayed the sunburst color on it but i'm not particularly confident about doing that either freehand or even with a you know a, another blade to kind of act as a a stop uh, so i thought what i'd do is i'd try and make a contraption where i could um with at least a bit of confidence make sure I'm not going to uh, gouge into the lacquer that's top of the actual wood and go outside the binding stripe and hopefully make a, a decent job of it. So what I've done here is I've made a two piece holder if you like and if I just switch off that one you can see that we've got a standard craft knife blade or Stanley knife as we call it in the UK a lot embedded in there so that's kind of cut away and this will leave two millimeters of the blade protruding out the side which is the width of the binding and I should be able to use this edge here to which is straight and flat to press up against the side of the guitar body and then scrape away the excess lacquer from the top of the binding and uh, hopefully not ruin the paint job anywhere. So we're going to step over to the 3D printer now and print out both the two halves of this and also the screws which are all 3D printed with the threads on them as is the holder halves themselves and they should be able to thread straight in, in there so step over to the printer and let's get underway. Right, hopefully you can see that. So we've put the blade into this holder, put the screws in that we printed, or grub screws I guess they are, and you can see we've got 2mm of a Stanley blade, or hopefully you can see that just above my fingernail there, uh, protruding from the body which has got a, a flat surface we can essentially scrape, Ooh. we can essentially scrape along the edge and be pretty assured that we're not going to go too far and start cutting into the actual colour and the, and, the, and the body itself. So let's step over to the guitar. Right, so what we can do is gently Start scraping away the colour coat lacquers that we've already put on there. And you can see we're getting a nice clean edge on the back. We do have to be quite careful. We don't want to get the flakes coming off too large and have you know a chip essentially scraped out. The black goes fairly quickly because the, uh, there's essentially only one coat of each colour for the burst. Uh, there's a, the yellow colour underneath which is a bit thicker. So that takes a bit more before you get down to the actual binding itself. Now, it's going to take hours obviously. 
you can see it's uh, appearing. What we need to, um, I do need to be careful of, is around the horns of the guitar. Um, some of those curves there, I might not be able to get this tool into, but uh, have a go and we'll see how we get on. So there we go, a uh, bit of clean up to get rid of all the uh, paint chips off of there and uh, this is uh, finished and come out a lot better than I thought it would and also a lot quicker than I thought it would uh, take as well. It only took about um, half an hour to an hour, something like that, to scrape it all. I guess that's uh, having the right tool for the job so um, that's a bit of a success anyway uh, next up will be to put clear coat on this thing and finally finishing the lacquering on the whole guitar so thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next of this series mm -hmm.